This is the Conduit on the Wii, released in 2008 by Sega, but developed by High Voltage. I picked it up the other day for £2. Uh, it's a first person shooter. You're a, um, an agent in the Secret Service and you're investigating, you work for like a clandestine organization and you're investi investigating an alien conspiracy sort of, you know, theory, takeover thingy, doohickey, whatever you want to call it. We're in Reagan Airport, right? I was going to say we're in Reagan. I could have been awkward. We're in Reagan Airport right now um, in Washington. Oh. And uh, this game is interesting for a number of reasons. I, you know, completed it the first time I had it. Uh, it's got such heavily customizable controls, which you do need to take. Oh, don't we throw fucking bombs at you? Do need to take the time to configure, which I haven't, because um, they are so sensitive that if you just wade into fucking a firefight without setting the controls up, what well, have you got? A gas mask? Is there a dirty bomb going on? Without setting the controls up to your liking, you're going to get spanked sideways and call Susan. Oh shit! Does that mean I'm getting hurt? A lot. Oh, hurt him a lot. Nice. Uh, production values are brilliant. They tried something really, really cool with this. Oh, I've got a melee. Oh, look at me. Fly FBI guy. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've got a scar, haven't I? Hang on. Change weapon. Yeah, they tried something different. They wanted to prove at the time that the, the, the Wii was capable of really, really decent, you know, graphics. It had a stigma that it was just a PlayStation 2. And I've always very much defended the Wii, as you know. And I, I think this game looks absolutely superb. Very intuitive. Later on, this is right at the start, uh, you get like this weird floaty orb thing that opens up a whole new range of sort of, you know, in investigatory, investigatory skills. Uh, and, you know, like keys and puzzles and, oh yes, look at me rocking the fucking machine gun. Uh, you know, puzzles and keys and, and it's just... Look it up. I'm not doing it justice. It's just, it's a really, really fun game. Uh, it kind of received mixed views, which I never really understood, but, you know, it's it's a good fallid, uh, fallid, good solid fun shooter. Really nice graphics, really tight controls, if you configure them. Watch reload. Uh, hang on. Nice. I think it's better if you shake to reload. That sounds like a fucking euphemism for sex. Um, it's also compatible with the We Speak. That sounds like a euphemism for pillow talk. Uh, if you're going to talk dirty to a console. Never mind. Dig up, Dave. Not down. Um, yeah, I really, really like this game. There is a sequel. The sequel's absolutely bollocks. It just doesn't live up to this. This this is a really fun game. The voice acting is superb. Your boss is Kevin Sorbo. What a great surname, Sorbo. He sounds like a Greek dessert. Would you like some Sorbo after your steak meal? Not really. Never liked Andromeda and Hercules. Adventures were shit. Sorry. But no, the voice acting is superb and it's got a brilliant, brilliant story. It's just an all solid, solid, cheap, you know, cheap, uh, fun game, and it's super cheap is what I'm trying to say. Pick it up, seriously. Have I got grenades? I have got grenades. Oh, no. Who needs grenades? <laughs> I love the fact that you can't hear it. I've got, like, the music and stuff turned off, but the, the radio keeps telling me that, you know, in the, in the airport, you know, like, you must put your liquids in a clear plastic bag, you know? Because <laughs> that would be bad, wouldn't it, you know, blowing up an airport? But we'll just leave a canister of, you know, or five canisters of gas around here. Can't see a problem with that, can you? Oh, who's shooting me? There you go. Oh, look at you and your fancy fucking clothes. Nice. Oh, sounds brilliant. I think for once it's not actually coming out the Wiimote, which I kind of like. So, yeah, get on that. Get on that. It's, it's old. There you go. See, put your shit in a plastic bag, but don't worry about the gas canisters. All the grenades that are thrown. Mealy. Yes. Wow. You're not very well trained, are you? That was it. That was, that was barely a tap. Right. Oh, do I want a scar? Three round bursts? Why not? I want a scar. Chicks love scars. See what I did there? Oh, come on. Is that a scope? I'm sure that. I'm sure there's a scope. Oh, there's a duck. Nice. Oh, I love that. Oh, there was a bloke out there. Look at you, you sneaky airport motherfucker. I don't know if the green means I'm getting shot. Yeah, so later on you get like a hazard suit and shit, like kind of like Half-Life and stuff. But yeah, it's this is just barely at the start. There's like, because obviously it's aliens, there's some cool alien weapons, like organic shit and stuff. Uh, it's just boss, basically. Right, where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. I really should have configured the controls, shouldn't I? Who's shooting me? Rude. There we go. Nice. What do you say about grenades? I don't know. Where are you going? I'm gonna hit you in the face with my gun. Nice. 
Oh, the only problem I say with the Wii controls, since I haven't set it up, is if I move it too quickly off the screen, it kind of just st sticks and stammers and shit. There we go. Through the door. Shield wave. So it's like deodorant. Oh, look at you. I don't understand why you got gas masks. Should I be worried? I'm pretty sure if I saw a bloke in a gas mask at an airport, I would be worried. Possibly I would leave. For fear that Ryanair, Ryanair would charge me for taking a piss on the plane. Look it up, people. Seriously. I shouldn't have picked up a scar. I don't like it. You're not the boss of me. You can't tell me how many bullets I can fire in the face. Nice. Reload. Oh, screw it. Let's go with a hand cannon. I like hand cannons. There we go. They make me feel like a brute man. Nice. Is it as good as Goldeneye? That would be the question, wouldn't it? Um, yes and no. Uh, certainly a match for it in the graphics department, but entirely a different type of game. Ooh, reanimated blokey thingies. Shit. Do I need to take them out? Yes, would be the answer to that. And that's why you wear... Actually, how did it reanimate you? You're wearing a gas mask. Nice. What reanimates you can kill you. And they say you cannot kill what does not live. Don't box me in, man. There's a word you don't want to hear. Discharge. Oh, this is so much better than a scar. Anyone else? Yes. Should I be concerned about the amount of lead I'm laying down? You know, it's not very green of me, is it? I'm sure the Tories will come up with attacks. What's that? I don't know. Oh, this is so no oh, 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 he's out, he's out, he's out, shit. There we go. Nice. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. No. Yes, I'm confused. Right. I should what? Jump. Hey. Bulletproof windows. More airports have bulletproof windows. I feel it would fix a lot of problems. Right. Health. How's the health system work in this? I don't know. Oh, you should let me rail slide. Get some matrix shit going on. Some behind me, isn't it? Yes. Sneaky motherfucker. I love the way they toss grenades, so, you know, they just no care for them, them, themselves. Shooty, shooty, blowy, uppy. No care for their own safety. Just, just lob grenades. Ooh. I really should have set the controls up. Hey, you shot yourself. Ah, you didn't go to terrorist school, did you? Still coming from behind. Never mind. It's not porn day. Right, keep going, keep going. Ah, uh, controls. All right, you can't hear that. Some bloke's telling me to hurry. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Have I got to run? No, let's start. I need to run. Nice. How many fucking planes are taking off from this airport, mind? We're back on the scar. Fuck that. Like I said, you got to see some of the alien weapons later on. They get crazy. you got to see some of the aliens. And then also you got the conduits themselves, which is how you jump between, like, you know, uh, different places and stuff. Different places. I just made the greatest form of uh, travelling in the world ever sound cheap. Different places and stuff. Ah, this motherfucker. Right, anyway, I just want to give you a quick flavour of this game. I'm going to call it quits, but it, it's it's an underrated gem. Forget the fact that I didn't set the controls up properly, because once you do, it is brilliant. Obviously, there, there, is, there was an absolutely fantastic online mode, but obviously uh, Nintendo's going to retire that very, very soon. But yeah, it's an absolute gem. I bet it would look absolutely tasty and delicious if I put it on my Wii U and upscaled it, but quite frankly, I was too fucking lazy to plug the sensor bar in and recalibrate the controls. But yeah, just a light, you know, a little, a light little 
brunch, if you will, of the conduits on the Wii. Very underrated gem and certainly shows, you know, that this system has beans when it comes to graphics. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Oh, and please mind the gap.